Secretary of State, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Tava Surung, received the head of Department of Eurasia of Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, William Thompson, and other representatives. During the meeting, the parties shared their thoughts to strengthen the competitiveness of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development while improving Mongolia's economy, diversification of exports, support small and medium businesses and improve ways of connecting the regions, transport connectivity and other important matters. Over 500,000 shares were publicly traded from 26 companies this Wednesday. Shares were from first, second and third categories. Out of them were 11 stock companies' shares rose, shares of 9 companies dropped and 6 companies' stocks remained stable. Minister of Environment and Green Development Sirumbat informed about the declaration states that the adoption of one-time synthetics has been approved by the government of Mongolia starting from March 1, 2019. This resolution prohibits the use of plastic bags for thin packing of 0.035 mm. In other words, the thin plastic bags forms into the biggest waste in the nature by tangling in the trees while polluting environment. This year marks the 45th anniversary of Mongolia's diplomatic relations with Canada. Minister of Education and Sports Tsogzatma met the ambassador of Canada to Mongolia, David William Sproul, and exchanged weaves about young people are becoming aware of a wide range of innovative knowledge and innovations throughout the world and in developing innovation infrastructure and promoting ideas in initiatives related to innovation activities of universities and research institutions and other issues. Ambassador of Mongolia to the Swiss Confederation Purpsurum presented credentials to the President of Swiss Confederation Alain Berset. During the meeting, Ambassador Purpsurum expressed his willingness to focus on expanding Mongolia-Swiss relations and cooperation in the fields of trade economy and especially Swiss policy on education and technology fields. The Swiss Confederation has never been involved in any armed conflict as being a neutral state over the last 500 years and is the one of the world leaders in competitiveness. Since June, diplomat and official passport holders of the both countries have been traveling without visa for 90 days. Also, the sides agreed on granting 3-5 to five year visas to the regular passport holders of Mongolia.